Okie dokie, we're live. So here we are, we're live from the West Hollywood Chamber of Commerce this afternoon. With this great group of people. And we're going to talk about this amazing program, this GEM program, the Global Executive Mastermind Program. Um, and we've got Genevieve Morrill here, our CEO and President. Um, so Jen, why don't you kick us off and just tell us um, what is GEM and how did it get conceived? Sure, we hold GEM stands for stands for West Hollywood Global Executive Mastermind, and the way uh, my colleague Greg Stewart from Harmony Solutions International described it was that it was where masters of the same mind came together to conduct business to help each of their businesses grow, like a peer advisory board. And um, it's an intimate, confidential uh, group of people that meet uh, twice a month, and they are uh, once in person, once online, or in, on phone, and then they have an online marketing course that uh, Greg and his colleagues have developed that also is an added benefit. So it's an incredible program, and I'm going to turn it over to Greg to talk about it because it's really his, um, it's his vision, and he brought it to us, and we experimented with some pilot programs for a year with some of our board members, and it exponentially had growth and success for these businesses. And we said, we want to own it, we want to brand it, we want to bring it here for our West Hollywood members. And, um, and this is where we are now. We're with some, some of our members who are taking the course now. And um, Greg, you want to tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, well, first I want to say how inspired I am by the participants and the people who have gone through the GEM program and how, how well they've done with, with additional focus, with additional structure, and with uh, you know, just, just taking the uh, stressors out of the business and, and replacing those. Yeah. There you go. We're live. It's like being in New York. Okay, wait. There's one more. All right. Okay. Let's call it in action. Speaking of stressors, yeah. uh, you know, take the 911 out of your business and, uh, and and turn that into productive growth. Um, we we have a backdrop of a couple of different uh, processes. One is called the entrepreneurial operating system. Uh, that's a system that uh, you know if, if you if you take that and take me and put me into your business, it's uh, it's a lot more expensive than if you come uh, to the Gem Group. You get uh, executive coaching on uh, really solid uh, current business uh, practices and business skills. Uh, for a lot less uh, than you would pay for a coach to come into your business and do the same thing. And you get the benefit of having people from uh, you know, different disciplines than you uh, commenting on some of the problems that you bring forward. There's, uh, you know, over time we build a, a really deep uh, trusting bond uh, that will be with us for many years to come. It's a, it's a one year commitment uh, but you don't have to leave after a year. You know, hopefully people will stick around and, and welcome the new people in. Uh, you know, it's the program's in its infancy right now. We're looking for new members, and um, you know, it, it, it's just a great, uh, great group of people. Yeah, I, I wanted to say also, it's so successful for some executives and business owners that they put their employees through the program. So mm -hmm. I want to introduce some of our members. We have uh, Ted Green with uh, Green Public Strategies. Uh, we have Fiona, who uh, as Lay Bear, uh, for Lay Bear um, Wax, and Wax, Wax and Salon, and we have Sam, who has Sam Borelli Consulting, and um, so uh, why don't we start with you, Ted, sure. and talk a little bit about how the GEM program has benefited your business. You know, I've been a member of the Chamber for about three years, and I was really happy to start participating in GEM. I guess it's been about three months mm -hmm. now. And for me, as a public affairs consultant, um, what GEM has helped me do is identify specific numerical targets to accomplish the goals that I need to move my business forward. And then working with peers and with Greg have held me accountable to those goals. Mm -hmm. And the goals evolve over time, the targets evolve over time. But it's created a system of accountability that's mm -hmm. been really important for me, and it's been a huge benefit, as has the peer-to-peer -peer counseling, where we have an opportunity to, you know, this is what's troubling me right now, this is the challenge that I'm having, and then others in the group can offer their ideas and thoughts and guidance that I can take or not take, but 
puts them on the table. Lots of great ideas. Great. Yeah. And Fiona, I understand you have businesses all over the world. Well, just two countries. Two countries. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's all over the world. That's a lot. That's a yes. Lot. So we have uh, over 100 branches in the Philippines. We started 12 years ago. And we opened in West Hollywood a year and a half ago. Okay. But it's still pretty slow. So I thought that the gym would help us reach our goals. And what's funny is the first thing Greg asked us to do on the first day was to rate our business, you know, how we're performing. And I gave myself a score of 53%. And today we did the same test again, and I scored 88. So wow. just in Woo. three months, I've great. seen a lot of progress. And um, That's just in three months. months. Yes, because Greg pushes us to meet our deadlines every two weeks. So it's helped me a lot. Keeps you on track. Yes, on, definitely. On goal and et cetera. Yes. And, and I know it's a confidential program, so we won't dive into some of the challenges you face. Uh -huh. but, but I know that, um, you know, in the pilot program, I know people anywhere from being on the stage and facing public speaking issues to employees to financial goals yes. to uh, sometimes it's the government regulations that are interfering. I mean, it's just a, a gamut of large or small. Tell us about your business, Sam, and how Jim has helped you. Um, sure. One of the things that was uh, pretty clear to me in the beginning is, I, um, and you, you can see it on my website, I do a little bit of everything. And the challenge with that was I was doing a little bit of everything. <laughs> um, so in just in these three months, I've been really able to focus from some of the big things that I like to do and really kind of figure out these are the things I want to do. And these things might be nice, it might have been fun, but this is where I want to spend my time. So working with this group here, helping me really hone down on the areas I want to focus in. And then what am I doing every week on business development? Um, I'm a solo entrepreneur, solopreneur has been the word uh, used, and if I'm not doing something on a regular basis to do business development, even when we talked about it today, we might get a six month contract that we'll just sit back and relax and do our client work for six months, but if we let our business development go, what's going to happen the day after? So we work on stuff, uh, we get feedback and advice from folks uh, in the room. Again, it's very confidential. I think I've shared, I know I've shared things that I wouldn't necessarily share with people I hadn't met. A couple of months ago, but I feel completely safe and and uh, and, and trusted uh, among these colleagues. Um, and because we're we're here in West Hollywood and based in West Hollywood, but our businesses go elsewhere. It's really great to be able to have that local flavor and somebody that you might see about town, but knowing that they have you know Ted does a lot of work in Sacramento and throughout the state. Fiona clearly in two different countries. Um, I don't go out, get out very much further than here. But it's great to share those experience, uh, experiences as well. And understanding <clears throat> as a as a either entrepreneur or, or solo entrepreneur, you're going to have, there's going to be differences, but some of the core challenges are the same. Like, what are you doing? How are you managing your time? What are you doing for the accountability? I think one thing for all three of us has the accountability. We keep saying, Greg, Greg is very gentle in that account. He doesn't really give you a dirty look. But on Friday at noon, you're, you're thinking, oh, have I done all my calls this week? Oh, have I met my commitment this week? And I even, I even said earlier, like in the beginning of this, like I want to come in and always be like, done, 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 done. That's just not the case. But you're making progress towards those goals every month. And we all three came up significantly from our mm -hmm. organizational chart from three months ago till today. All over 20 points for, yes. for all of us in three months in what we're trying to get done. And wow. that, is, that is empowering and just even hearing it in the room with your friends because, yes, more. When's our next session? So we want you guys to come. <laughs> we need more of you to join us and help us, and we'll gladly help and support you. Um, so come to one of these orientations coming up this Thursday. Get in the room, learn more about it, and join us. Thursday at, Thursday at 11 o'clock. I want to ask Greg one more question. Greg, mm -hmm. tell me that how this works with a business that's five million dollars, five years in business, five employees, versus someone who's a brand new business, one million is their goal, but they're at you know hundred thousand, you know one they're trying to build one employee to two. How does it? How does this benefit? How does someone that has something that seems so far different than somebody else or any of these people in the room, even though they're all different? Tell us how it works. How can that work when you're so different, so many different industries, so many different levels of business? Tell us how that works. Well, you, you, the, the, the person who is a solopreneur 
isn't uh, a neophyte in their uh, in their discipline. So you know, um, uh, Sam mentioned that he's a solopreneur. He's also an expert marketer, and you know, someone who is in Fiona's situation, um, you know, she's marketing uh, a franchise model throughout the United States. So you know, Sam can give her advice. In fact, that was a big part of what we did today. Is you know, she mm -hmm. got advice from the other folks in the room. So there's you know, Fiona's got a very big business, and Sam's got a solopreneurship. Uh, you know, he's learning things from her and she's learning things from him. And so uh, the more people we get in the room, we're going to really cap it at 12. Um, but the more people we get in the room, the more of that kind of cross-fertilization uh, you have. What, what I found with uh, uh, when you start to get larger and larger, the uh, you know, thing that keeps you up at night in your business generally is your employees and employee issues and, you know, showing up to work or, you know, you know, what, what, whatever, whatever the issues are, uh, there's generally someone in the room who has had that issue before that can give you some advice. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a certified business coach, so I see, you know, everything, uh, you know, from top to bottom. I, I work in three different continents, Europe, the United States, and Asia, and I, I, I see just about everything that you can imagine. So I bring that into the room also, but uh, mm -hmm. what I try to promote mostly is what do these guys need, and how can I provide, or how, how can I plan for the next session to put in front of them exactly what they need in order to take the next step with their business? Right, so, so it I'm, depends on the group, kind it, of. It, it depends the on the group. The makeup of the yep. group, how they interact, yep. how's, what the synergies are, and all of that. Yeah, so it's and, interesting. And, and it, it's not a cookie cutter thing. It's you know right. what what what's happening right now with you, so that we can you know right. I, I'm I'm going to dip into my toolbox and bring something in that's going to address right. that, that, that issue or those issues that people are having. I remember when we did the pilot program and I remember there were two, one was from the restaurant industry and one was from the hotel industry and they said, I'm the top dog and so therefore I have no one to talk to because mm -hmm. there's no one above me that I can bounce things off if I can't vent down to my employees and I can't ask them for advice because it's confidential. And so it was a great, the, this type of a group was a great opportunity for them to be able to get that kind of peer advice which they couldn't find anywhere else. Well, and, and, and the key thing with that is trust. Yeah. And when, when you have that trust you're going to open up more right. and then you know right. when you open up more and you yeah, and you know, I, I think as Ted uh, uh, has mentioned, it's you know it's not always fun to get that kind of advice, but it is what I need. Again, <laughs> <laughs> so. fun versus else. Well, I just want to ask. So, Sam, if this discussion has inspired someone, piqued someone's interest, what specifically should they do to participate? Um, really, the first step would be come to the orientation this coming Thursday, the fifteenth, or they could reach out directly to the chamber to talk to us and get a little more information about yeah, it. But also I think it's important to know what, uh, and I think I even weighed this originally myself, is do I have the time or do I have the mind? Do I have the time or do I have the mind? <laughs> it has been worth it. It has been worth it in both regards of you know, getting me on track with the uh, uh, commitments that I made, not showing up with, not having done anything, um, getting myself on track with them. how many calls I have to make that week, how many contacts that I have to make in my networking the right way. Do I show up at a, a chamber mixer now and talk to my friends? Or do I show up at a chamber mixer now and actually meet new people mm -hmm. and talk to them either about the gen program or another client they might have going on or business development for myself. So those type of things, uh, you know, spending the two hours today and an hour online in a couple of weeks has absolutely been worth it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to add anything else? I was just going to say that I totally agree that because I'm part of the CEO of my company right. and I don't have anyone to talk with aside from this group, unless, you know, I'm throwing a staff meeting and they just have to listen to me, but <laughs> they don't really need right. any right. solid input. So this has been something that I look forward to every two weeks. Great. Well, thank you all for mm -hmm. participating. Well, I, I'd like to compliment Genevieve and the Chamber for being on the cutting edge of bringing this type of a program in. Mo most Chambers are trying to find their relevance and the relevance of a Chamber in helping their members to be more profitable, make more money, reduce the anxiety of the leadership, That that that's going to make a Chamber uh, relevant and that's part of what's making the West Hollywood Chamber relevant to its membership and to its community. Mm.
Thanks. I love that. So Thanks, everybody. come to GEM orientation on Thursday at 11 o'clock. It's a free complimentary info session. 11 o'clock here at the Chamber, 8272 Santa Monica Boulevard. You can find us online, wehochamber.com slash weho-gem or gem-weho, something like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and 323-650-2688. Uh, Please call us. We can get you in right away. Wonderful. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye. That's great, everybody. Perfect. I can see